So in my week, I usually have four lectures and nine tutorials a week. Uh, I have quite a lot of tutorials because I study a foreign language. Uh, some of my friends only have nine classes in total a week. I also do ballroom dance classes and drumming classes. Uh, and on Saturdays, I play intramural football with the History Society. Sometimes I'll go on a night out with my friends or just go to a coffee shop and chill out with my friends as well. So in first year, it obviously depends a lot on what degrees you do or how often you like going out or um, what societies or sports you do. But I do history and politics, so I didn't have as many contact hours as some of my friends who might do engineering or medicine or a subject like that. So I'd have about 10 hours a week. Three hours would be tutorials, then about six or seven hours on um, lectures. And then the rest of the time you kind of spend reading around your degree, um, preparing for tutorials, preparing for your essays, which takes a lot, up a lot of time. Then on top of that, things like going out with your friends. And then I personally play cricket. Um, which would normally involve training about twice a week. So that's all through the winter as well. So kind of a midweek session at the gym and then a Saturday session, like playing in the cricket. Um, and so, yeah, that would be a kind of week in my life in first year. Most of my university classes were online and recorded during COVID. Uh, now they're all back to normal uh, in person. Um, they're also recorded, so I usually rewatch them if I haven't understood a part of the lecture or if I was not able to go to the lecture theater. Um, and then I also have tutorials, and these are also online, and they take place in classes like this one. My favorite place to study has to be the main library. I think apart from the library being open 24-7 and also having hot water taps and desktops, the one thing that I love about the main library is the view and the sunlight that you get. Um, it really helps me focus during a particularly difficult academic week because um, I can get exhausted in closed spaces so you get a sense of outdoors by being on the higher floors of the library and the sunlight always helps in concentrating so that is why I love the main library. University learning is very independent however the help is always there if you need it. Academics are very good at answering their emails and are very proactive in setting up meetings to have either online or in person. If you need help, never be afraid to ask. Because there is a transition from hybrid study modes and there are now in-person exams, there are sessions run by the university student support team about how to navigate um, in-person exams, how to study for them. There are other other modules available on learn just in case there are there is a requirement to hone on other academic skills in terms of referencing and citing and writing papers or analytical thinking um, which can be accessed through learn as well um, so it is it is a whole sort of nexus of support that is available in your school and in larger university space. Um, the student union uh, has a device place, which is literally just a place that you can walk in and ask any questions and they will direct you to the reasonable resource available within the university. So um, there is a whole lot of options when it comes to accessing student support. The university holds lots of subject specific events which can offer you with great networking potentials with professionals in the field you want to go into. Additionally, the university runs internship programs in the summer which provide you with unique opportunities to get into what you're interested in. I myself am part of the business school, I study business and marketing and the business school is fantastic at organising alumni and networking events. I've been to several, I've met so many different industry professionals and there are so many different events being organised by all sorts of different schools so you can quite easily get in touch with people from the industry you're interested in.
I think I get involved in my school through academic channels and also through extracurricular activity channels. Um, by academic channels, I do volunteer to be a course rep so that I can represent my class's concerns with the course organizer. And I also volunteer for other uh, peer assisted learning support groups. For example, I was a law pal leader. Um, so I got to interact with a cohort right below my year and help them transition into law school. Um, I also think the societies in law school offer a huge range of activities to do. There are other networking events that also are, organi are organized in law school that not only give you an opportunity to talk to just people within the academic circles but also people within the professional um, environment. I think that my degree program is really particularly flexible. Um, I have quite a lot of freedom to choose my courses within certain guidelines. For example, as part of um, the a sociology program, I get to choose courses, any courses from the sociology handbook, which is really nice because I can choose topics that are more interesting to me or that relate much more to my dissertation. I've also had the opportunity to change my courses quite a lot during my four years of study. So, um, for example, I would start a course in the first week of university and realize that something else might be more interesting or relevant to me and just ask to be put on the waiting list and usually you get switched to this quite easily. I love the fact that Scottish universities have a four-year undergraduate degree instead of a three-year one because it allows you much more flexibility in your first two years in terms of picking courses and this extra year really helped me figure out what I wanted to do because what I now want to pursue after university is completely different to what I wanted to last year so I'm really glad that I had this extra year as a buffer. In my degree program I am assessed in a multitude of ways. I am assessed through written exams, through oral, oral examinations and through coursework. This really depends on the course you do as to how you're assessed. You can pick modules that mean that you're only assessed through coursework or you can pick modules that mean you're assessed purely through exams. Just whichever suits you best, I recommend you go for. So after my current bachelor, I'm planning on continuing on with my studies and going on into a master. I'd like to specialize a bit more into uh, the field that I study um, and then after my master I would really like to go and find a workplace abroad so that it would allow me to uh, be in a new country and travel. I am planning to get into a workplace after university. I think Edinburgh offers excellent career services and an excellent career team that guides me through a career journey and they have been really instrumental in preparing me for sitting for interviews and for reviewing my CV and preparing my LinkedIn so I will be using those resources that I have as a student to get a job. After university I would like to go back to China and work there using my degree, potentially teaching English as a foreign language and also getting the opportunity to explore parts of Asia I've never been to before.